Asia. And they create something here into Kondogbia. He's looking for Palacio, it's a great run, and Icardi's waiting in the middle, it's Brozovic! Oh, what a great goal! Superbly created by Inter. Fantastically crafted to silence the Artemio Franchi. Their first genuine sight of goal, and Brozovic sees the opportunity. You're absolutely right, Adam, it's a really good counter-attacking goal. Finally, finally, Inter actually managed to string two or three passes together. The space opens up in front of them. But credit Palacio for playing the ball into Condogbi and then continuing his run. That's what the two wide strikers have to do in this formation. Astori's dragged out of a hole and it's a really good pullback. I'm not quite sure whether Palacio knows that Brozovic is there at all, whether he just thinks that he needs to pull it back a lot more than just a simple one for Riccardi. And it's a great pullback. And once it's there, Brozovic can't really miss. Good finish. Into the roof of the net, it's against the run of play, but it's a really good goal. It's his first of... Messina. Marcos Alonso. Borja Valera. Juan Calia. What about a shot? Side instead to find Ilicic, great ball over, and there's the equaliser. It's one of the smallest men on the pitch, Borja Valera, who gets Fiorentina on level terms. Mr. Reliable so far this season in Laviola's midfield. He scored a big, big goal for them here. Huge goal, Valero with a header. Not exactly the way that Fiorentina thought they would get back into this game. Really well-timed run from Valero. And the header. Flag goes up, oh, sorry, the arm goes up there from the Inter defender, hopefully more than anything else. Good decision from the assistant referee to keep his eye on Valero when Ilicic's cross came over. And then the touch off an Inter player is inconsequential. And Valero does really well to adjust to it and give Handanovic no chance at all with his header. Miranda complains, but the assistant referee gets that one right. The only thing that you perhaps could say, did Kalinic, who look... Bernadeschi. That was Alex Tellez with the challenge already booked in the first half, and that means now he will be sent off. Murillo needs to be careful with his complaints. My instinct was that obviously feeling he got the I think he got enough of the ball there. The outside of his left foot, ball there. That's not even a foul, let alone a yellow card. I think that's a poor decision. It's something that Fiorentina should actually have tried to do, as I was saying, Adam, a long time. His creativity is increasingly important. Just don't have, do they, that deep-line creative midfielder that so many sides in Serie A do. We'll have a ladder. A shortage of creative players in the Fiorentina side. Marcus Alonso to Rate. And gets it onto his right foot, and it's been pushed out to Babacar! Right at the end! In added time! It's the super sub who's done it for Fiorentina! Kuma Babacar scores the goal that surely will give Fiorentina a priceless three points! Well, what's Andanovic doing, Adam? So many times he's a man that's come to Inter's rescue, but what I'm going to comment on here, and Babacar's just on side, is why is Zerate not pulled out to Ilicic? But surely Andanovic should do better than to just parry that into the bodies, because it could have hit anyone. It happens to be Babacar, that could have been either of Inter's centre-backs. He manages to at least react to his first one, and parries it back there. The second one is not too much he can do, but it's the first one he's either got to hold and make sure that he does better with his, with his parry. And Paulo Souza will take the credit for his substitution, getting another striker in there. Just to, to have a body in the right place when it... It's Nakatomo with the throw in. And a red card show. Well, there was something going on on that far side. Zarate. The assistant referee. 
What does he do here? He grabs the neck of Murillo. Well, it's an eagle-eyed official who's noticed that. Certainly the referee was in no... Champions League football. Fiorentina take points off a direct rival. Their fourth victory in a row over Inter. Just one win in seven now for Mancini's side. A farcical end to this game.